Well, as the entire nation unites to demand justice for Asifa, an eight-year-old who was brutalized, raped, and killed in the Katwa district of JNK, shameful attempts are being made to shield the culprits. The latest bid coming from BJP Madhya Pradesh chief Nand Kumar Chauhan. Now he has claimed that park agents are involved in the gruesome incident. Listen into his shocking statement. Well, shameful statements, absolutely. Meanwhile, JNK Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti has taken a stand on the gang rape case that has the whole nation seething with anger at this moment. She has said on a tweet that the government will soon bring in a legislation that will make death penalty mandatory for those who rape minors. Mir Farid joining us on the phone line. Farid, of course, there is angst across the country to see not just the fact that there was such a brutal crime committed, but to see the response from the leadership, especially from the BJP. And now, of course, Mehbooba Mufti has made this grand statement of how there should be legislation. But the fact of the matter is the ground realities are very different today in JNK. Things are only escalating. What can you share with us on the latest? Yes, that's right. Uh, things are only escalating. And uh, for Mehbooba Mufti to act, uh, she should first sack the two ministers in her cabinet who, go, who went there uh, in a pro-rapist rally, provoked, uh, emboldened people. And after that, it was... Uh, literally free for all. They were there uh, bullying people, intimidating people, and uh, in fact, uh, the people, uh, including lawyers. So we saw what happened in the court premises where crime branch people were heckled. They were not allowed to give charge sheet or present charge sheet. Then uh, the counsel of the victim mm. was also harassed. So it is not just uh, there. Mehma Mufti, after seeing massive outrage, outrage is involved, now she's coming out with the uh, the right talk, but uh, hmm. first she should sack the BJP ministers who were there, and then uh, she can obviously take it from here. But there yes, was a minister right. who actually participated in the protest that was held in favor of the accused. Even that minister is still there in Mehbooba Mufti's cabinet, which Mir Farid is referring to. The other point, uh, Farid, is this shameful statement that has come from a member of the BJP again, who happens to be the state chief in Madhya Pradesh, saying that there is a Pakistan hand in this. So there is a huge attempt now to digress from the real issue of the brutality of this crime and the real focus should be on punishing the culprits, but attempts are being made to somehow deflect attention to other issues. Yes, yes, absolutely. Now they're, they're on the back foot. Now they're uh, uh, coming in with the complete absurdity. Yes. Now, this is another shocking statement where uh, they're trying to bring in the Pakistan hand. Now this mm. has been the way uh, some leaders in the BJP uh, have been trying to deflect attention in the past as well. But yes. in this case, uh, very few people are going to buy this. This is only going to further expose uh, these uh, elements rather than acting against their own, rather than uh, really mm. uh, coming mm. out and sacking these ministers, uh, giving justice to the eight-year-old. Now they are uh, trying to bring in different elements. But as I said, this is no one is going to buy this. Uh, this is absolutely absurd and shocking. Absolutely. And if they want to take action, they should first sack the two ministers to really uh, show to this country that they really mean when uh, they say Beti Bachao. So this is a test for the BJP. They should stack the Right. Ministers. All that the nation cares for today, Farid, is that the culprits must be booked. They must be dealt with the severest of punishment for the kind of barbarism that they displayed in raping and uh, uh, holding this child in captivity and then killing her in the most brutal manner. All that the nation cares for is punishment for those brutes, nothing else. Thanks for joining us, Farid.